Are you looking to break into the world of web development but unsure where to start? You're not alone. Technology plays a massive role in our daily lives, from simple apps to groundbreaking inventions. And behind every website or software lies a web developer who made it all possible. But what exactly is web development and how do you get started in this fascinating industry? Web development can seem complicating, confusing and inaccessible to the outside eye. That's where we come in. This comprehensive guide will teach you everything you need to know to become a fully-fledged web developer. But before we dive in, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content on web development. Does the world need web developers? If you haven't already noticed, technology is everywhere, like a clingy ex who just won't let go. It's in our social media apps, our online purchases, and even in our virtual meetings. And who's responsible for making all of this possible? You guessed it, web developers. Being a web developer is like being a wizard. You have the power to create something out of nothing and make it work like a charm. And with the job market projected to grow faster than a beanstalk, it's no wonder that the people are trying to get in on the action. But you might think, is it still worth pursuing web development after the past few years? The answer is a resounding yes. Despite everything, web developers have managed to keep their heads above water and are still in high demand. So why not join the ranks and become the next web development superstar? How has COVID affected the industry? While many industries have taken a beating from the pandemic, the tech industry has been thriving like a boss with organizations relying increasingly on digital tools to keep things going, the importance of technology and the people who create it has skyrocketed. But what does this mean for those just starting out in the world of web development? Well, it means that you better get cozy with the idea of working remotely. In fact, according to the 2022 Jamstack Developer Survey, 83% of respondents work at least half the time remotely and 62% work entirely remotely. Let's get started. All right, all right, you're excited to become the next web development superstar, but where do you even begin? Luckily, with the growing popularity of the field, there are more pathways into web development than ever before. But don't just jump in blindly. A little strategic planning can go a long way. So what steps should you take to become a web developer? Let's break it down. Step 1. Get your hands dirty. All right, time to roll up your sleeves and get coding. After all, why jump into a career in programming if you're still determining if you'll enjoy it? But don't worry, plenty of free resources are out there to help you dip your toes into the coding waters without any commitment. The internet is chock full of free coding classes for you to try out so you can see if this is your path. For example, Career Foundry offers a fantastic 5-day coding short course to teach you the basics of building, designing and styling your website. And the best part, it won't cost you a single penny. So what are you waiting for? Give it a try and see if web development is the career of your dreams. Get your hands dirty and test the waters. Step 2. Choose your path. As you embark on a journey towards becoming a web developer, you must start thinking about the path you want to take. This will allow you to focus on learning the necessary languages, libraries and frameworks to succeed in your chosen specialization. You can take several career paths within web development, each with challenges and rewards. For example, suppose you're interested in designing and developing the visual elements of websites. In that case, you should specialize in front-end development. This involves creating the user interface and user experience for web applications using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. On the other hand, if you're interested in building the server side of the web applications and handling data storage and retrieval, you may want to specialize in backend development. This involves using languages such as PHP, Python and Ruby to build the logic and functionality of web applications. Alternatively, you can specialize in full-stack development, which involves working on web development's front-end and back-end aspects. This requires a broad range of skills and knowledge and the ability to work with multiple languages and frameworks. Regardless of your chosen path, becoming proficient in basics like HTML or CSS and JavaScript is essential. These languages are the foundation of web development and are used in almost all aspects of the field. Step 3. Decide your learning pathway. Once you've considered all of these factors, you can start to narrow down your options. Some popular pathways to consider. Boot camps. Coding boot camps have become famous for those looking for a fast-paced and immersive education experience. Boot camps are intensive programs that teach practical coding skills in a short amount of time, typically ranging from a few weeks to a few months. Online courses. 
Online courses have become increasingly popular due to their flexibility and affordability. These courses are often self-paced, allowing you to study at your own pace and schedule. Many online courses are available from beginner to advanced levels. Some popular options include Udemy, Coursera and EDX, traditional college or university. If you're looking for a more traditional education pathway, pursuing a degree in computer science or a related field is a great option. A degree program provides a comprehensive education in computer science, including programming languages, algorithms and data structures. A degree can be a great asset when searching for a job. It demonstrates a more extensive and rigorous education than many other pathways. Self-study Self-study can be an excellent option for self-motivated people who enjoy independent learning. Many free courses and paid resources, including books, videos and tutorials, are available online. Some popular resources include Code Academy, Free Code Camp and W3 Schools. No matter which path you choose, it's essential to stay motivated and committed. Web development is continually evolving and there is always more to learn. Step 4. Build your portfolio. The portfolio will showcase your abilities and approach to solving problems to potential employers, giving them a glimpse of what you can bring. You can use platforms like GitHub or Bitbucket to store your code and show your works to others. In building your portfolio, you should consider the following tips. Show diversity. It's important to showcase different kinds of projects to demonstrate the breadth of your knowledge and abilities. Highlight your best work. Choose the projects that you feel the most proud of and that best showcase your skills. Use real-world examples. If you have experience working on real-world projects, include them in your portfolio to show potential employers that you can handle real-world challenges. Explain your process. Employers want to see how you approach problem solving. Therefore, explain your process, your design choices, and the technical challenges you faced in each project. Keep it up to date. Regularly updating your portfolio is a must. As you continue learning and gaining more experience, add new projects to your portfolio and remove outdated ones. Remember, your portfolio is your chance to stand out from other candidates and impress potential employers. Make sure to take the time to create something that genuinely represents your skills and abilities. Step 5. Practice for the job market. Congratulations, you're now a certified code wizard and ready to charm your ways into the hearts of potential employers as a web developer. But wait, before you dazzle them with your impeccable coding skills, make sure your portfolio, resume, LinkedIn and GitHub profiles are as irresistible as a fresh batch of warm cookies. Think of your journey to becoming a web developer as a customer journey and your future employer as a customer. You want to make sure they are not just impressed by your projects, but also by your presentation and attention to detail. But remember to practice your charming recruiter phone screen voice and witty responses to those common web developer interview questions. And remember those technical questions and coding tests because who doesn't love a good challenge? Now you're armed with all of the tools to land that dream job as a web developer. So go ahead and show the world what you've got. And there you have it folks, you've made it to the end of our guide on how to get started in web development. We hope that you found it informative, engaging and most importantly, inspiring. Remember, web development constantly evolves and there's always something new to learn. So keep practicing, keep experimenting and keep building amazing things. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated with the latest web development trends and tutorials, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching and we'll see you at the next one.